Hey everyone, David here. So I've probably said it ad nauseum, but this city of Aram that I've been building for a very long time is from my books. It's the capital city of a country called Irana, and Irana is one of six nations on a planet called Shadow. What I might not have said many times is that Shadow is one of many planets that exist in a greater time speaker universe. I've been building TSU for as long as I can remember. In fact, the earliest stories I made up started when I was about three years old. These earliest stories form the mythological basis for TSU. Some of them I'd love to one day write into separate books or, or perhaps fairy tales for kids. Now, I was about 11 when I started creating the constructed language of Franca that I now use in the writing universe. And around about the same time, I also started making star maps, which slowly became more complicated as I grew up and discovered how mind-numbingly huge the galaxy actually is. Now, flash forward to several years ago, uh, when totally hyper-focused me used MS Paint and Pixels to update the star map for TSU. And part of the this update was to make a plan to show all three dimensions of the star cluster that the Ardamanan species inhabit. It took weeks of work and uh, several times I thought I was going to go completely mad, but I did it. And then I didn't know what, where to go from there. My long-term intention is to somehow create a website with a three-dimensional inter interactive star map where you can scroll through the 39 planets of the Arbanan species, click on a solar system you want, um, and visit it. And you can discover stories and artwork set in that environment on that planet, or maybe like a, a walkthrough so you can explore uh, locations in the books. And also I had this vision of people being able to play games like RPG games or first person shooter games or puzzle games or whatever that are based uh, thematically around that planet. However, to do something that awesome, you kind of need money. Lots and lots and lots and lots of money. And I, I do not. I don't even have one lots, let alone many lots of money. So the 3D star map got put into my massive TSU folder with all of the other content I have no way of getting out into the world yet and I left it there for several years. Uh, the other day I saw a video on pixel and map up in Minecraft and I had a stray thought. I wondered if I could put the star map in Minecraft as map art. An hour or so later I then thought screw map art what if I convert the 3D map plan I made into an actual 3D map of the stars in TSU? So, uh, all that talking I've just done is uh, to say that today's probably short video shall be my attempt at creating the current TSU star map in 3D in Minecraft. My plan is to convert the measurements from the scale drawing I did to a reasonable approximation of all three dimensions into Minecraft. I'm using the 128 by 128 pixel size Minecraft map as the general scale to start with. Uh, I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm certain most of the work will actually be unrecordable because there'll be me doing lots of math. But, wish me luck and cue the music.
and welcome back. I I am really happy with what I've done. I'm actually kind of stunned. <laughs> it's really gorgeous. The the reason why this one is obsidian and not glowstone is because it's planet shadow and in the universe planet shadow is um hidden from the psychic senses of the other planets it, I also did it so that you could see um, how surrounded they are I'll just change my view so it's easier you can see how surrounded they are in other planets and no one knows that they're there and they don't know that other people are there lots of stars around this 49 planets at least well, systems that are inhabited by the Ardmanan species and no one knows about planet shadow and planet shadow with the exception of Havenites no one knows about the other planets now the, the scale wasn't perfect um, I spent a lot of time uh, silently grinding my teeth <laughs> um, try not to swear a lot because the calculations were very hard I had to get the scale kind of approximate so it's not perfect for example from planet shadow that planet or this one is Somia and it should technically be the closest um, it doesn't include these two because uh, Dena and Enna you know Dena are actually obscured from planet shadow by a very thick um, nebula but this one here is a little close uh, I think that's that's Titian it's a, a little too close to shadow I think I've done a miscalculation though it's this it, Somia is supposed to be the closest it's called Elata to the people of shadow um, I just love how it looks I mean I, it's obviously artificial because um, at certain angles you can see the lines the the patterns the lines like um, the red territories here, she territories. It's a, an almost perfect diagonal, <laughs> and there's a, an angle somewhere around here. You can see like an X, yeah, almost an X shape. Um, so some of the patterns don't look natural, but um, I think if we actually go out into space and look at how stars and stuff look when they come out of nebulas and whatever um, they're not really random anyway but considering I did I designed the three-dimensional aspect of the this these star systems by imagining them um, I think it did really well um, and there's actually a reason for some of the patterns I won't go into it because then I'll talk for like half an hour um, and we can find that out much much later while reading books the general environment of all of these stars is that above all of them up here there's a, a very big thick a dense uh, nebula and so it's a, a, a stellar nursery nebula and they've all kind of come out of the nebula at about the same time ish um, obviously the lower ones will have come out earlier than the higher ones there'll be other stars technically other star systems in this cluster but these are the inhabited ones um, and I have to go off the the flat one <laughs> the flat one right Shadow, Somia. That one should be. Uh, 
first one is the uh, original. This is Kane, the first world, home world. Actually, Kane literally means home world. The place where we began. Um, so it's quite a, a big expansion. It took them 8,000 years to expand this far. Some of the nebula comes down into the stars. As I said, there's a, a wall of nebula between Shadow and uh, Ena and Dena. Actually, most of the nebula surrounds them on almost every side, except, I think, this side. Dena, Nena. Yeah, Takane. Except Takane. So here they are, here on the flat. And all around them is a, a, a nebula that cuts them off from all the other planets except Kane here. So I know quite a lot about sort of the the physicality of the star map but just seeing it like this is, is just wonderful. I know I'm very very focused on TSU it's my my special subject my special project Everything in my world is about TSU, but I just, it looks like a star map, a 3D star map. I love it. It's pretty, particularly with the, uh, the shaders. <laughs> but yes, I am very happy with this one. It took, I don't know, a whole day to do all the, all the math. And then a whole day to sort of convert the math into something I can use, like, in Minecraft. And then it was just an afternoon to actually make the thing. I even, um, even have a map. <laughs> an actual, uh, I'll just get closer to some light. An actual Minecraft map. <laughs> The maps only ever see things from the top, so it's 3D. The 3D's broken, but um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. Let's go back to Shadow. Boop. So I hope you enjoyed the short montage. Um, it took a lot longer to do the math mathematics than... Um, the actual making of the map but it's so neat you could go to each planet and see sort of where the inhabited systems are basically like are in the, that particular planet's sky like all of um, orange and yellow all of the uh, Red Arts Alliance are, are probably in the southern hemisphere you wouldn't see them in the northern hemisphere almost at all. I hadn't thought about that. It's really cool. Anyway, I could keep talking forever. I'm very happy with this and um, I'm going to keep it as my my little piece of squee because it's awesome. Um, even if it's simple, it's, I love it. But for now, Aranitasa.